shit's gonna happen. Call. I mean, this is supposed to be a monster. Look at this, ace king versus aces for 140k and the fucking guy hits two kings to fucking crack aces. This is the dumbest fucking jam in history. Hold. There it is. Final table. Ba -bum. Okay. The stacks have wildly shifted now. I'm in seventh. There's two guys lower than me who have 30,000 and 37,000. I have 156. Next closest player, 157. Then it goes 189, 190, 194, 334, 373. Crazy. I would say my expectation at this point is fourth or better. I'm kind of going to be disappointed with anything less than second place. Kind of doesn't really matter. That's kind of rough. Really? I mean, now it's kind of worth it. It's 31K to win 71. It's kind of worth it. King ball. Kings and clubs. King, 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 king. It's kind of worth it. The fours win. <laughs> I mean, if I take them both out, I have 200K putting me in third place. This didn't change my placing at all. Everything's all still the same. And these players play that fucking bad. No, I like that call. Rejam call. Well, now the guy's got some chips. Jack. Oh! People are fucking limping. Sure, just bluff off 30k, that's fine.
it's small to look strong. I mean, not like the jack isn't strong, but he's just got a lot of leverage on me because he's got 400k. This guy's gonna fucking throw it away. I don't know how the fuck he made it this far. Must have just been getting smashed by the deck. Bye. I mean, like, who didn't see that shit? Like, you just jam. Most aggressive ass donkey on the planet. Well, I am 7th out of 7 now, but pretty close here, pretty close here, one hand. Top prize, $248. I'll take it. I mean, I'm... Uh, I'm ahead all around. On WSOP, I'm ahead a little bit, plus I covered the buy-ins. I think I was at like 40 bucks more in cash wins. Yeah, I was at like $22.50. I'm at like $22.06 now. And on ACR, I profited like 30 or 40 had a really good shot to go deep in that one, though. Yeah, I profited like 35. So we're ahead. Deuce. I don't see any non-spade cards out of the corner of my eye, so there's probably no deuce. Oh, we see the call. How often is this a trap? Pocket four? Oh my god. Why are you calling with the king seven if you're not going to bluff? Holy shit, that's awful. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm $10 ahead right now. No, I'm more than that. Hang on. There it is. I'm like $22 ahead plus whatever this pays. So currently 37 plus I'm like 35 up on the other side. It sucks to talk about it, but it's like it's better than being down, right? What are you taking so long for? Oh, 
creeping my way up. I mean, it's hard to say. We're all pretty close, and I don't know who the linchpin is yet, like the guy who's going to set it off. But I feel like my minimum expectation should be at least fourth place. Unless, you know, we get coolered, of course. I just think these players are opening too big too often, out of position too often. Like 25 2, like why? Like, this is a good hand, yeah, but what if you get jammed on for your stack? Are you happy calling off with whatever that was? Because I guarantee it wasn't fucking aces or ace kings, kings or queens. I guarantee it was like ace queen or jacks at the best. And you're just calling raises? Hmm. One double, I'm at third. Two doubles, chip lead. That ace is fun. This fucking guy. You just all you got to do is raise here. Just make it 18k and you take it. This this fucking guy is just min betting nothing. Like it's it's so fucking bad. Like it's a reason to call this guy with bad hands. Because you can just totally like bang him off him. I got 21 and a half blinds. So, very aggressive player here. I think I may jam, depending on how much they raise. Uh, I'm just going to check. I was expecting a raise. <laughs> aggressive with the draws, but not willing to go out. Not willing to double me. So, next time, don't limp. How the fuck are you going to bet that high at an ace when you limped? It's just bad. It's fucking... Fucking wicked cut on my finger. Been back. No? You just gotta bet like 18, 18, 5. Somewhere in there. Between 17 and 18. But 20 is a little bit. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Just raise, check, raise, raise, you raise, you have the stack, raise. This is garbage.
bet. Got a minute to the break. hands in the blind. Thirty-three six. Like that's more than pot. Right? Seventy six fifteen six twenty three six plus eight thirty one six. Yeah it's two thousand over pot. It's ridiculous. They checks. Oh my god, you guys are fucking retarded. If you get the money in now, you're both fucking brain dead. Oh my god, I can't fucking believe it. Alright, we're going on break. Who the fuck is that? Oh, alright, well I'm going on break anyway. Talk to you guys in a sec. Got to get Chuchi's meds. And, uh... I'm on this table. But Courtney might go get him. Sorry guys, I'm I'm looking over uh, how much his fucking prescriptions are. Jesus Christ. Mm 
How late are these fuckers open? <clears throat> Ace King. I mean, I got 15, 16 blinds, so I have no problem rejamming here. I'm getting it in. This player is way too aggressive. The timing was off, and it's ace king, so this is my best chance. Oh, come on. There we go. Hold. Small three bet with pocket eights. How you like me? Well, I believe that puts us in third or second. I forget. Dun, 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 dun. Nope. Because of the squeeze factor. I'm in second. One pot. Nice. Ugh. Sucks to see that. But that's a big bet. I mean, I might have just dodged it. That might be fucking crazy. I don't know why you'd bet that big unless you had a fucking monster. Player hasn't played a hand yet. <sighs> I'm going to call and see how late these fuckers are open. They close at six. I'm not going to make it. Huh? I'm not going to make it. I wasn't, that's not what I was going to say. I'm going to say, I'm asking.
6x open. Like, these people are fucking mental. Somebody finally figured it out. Just check raise the guy when he does his small bet bullshit. Although this guy probably actually had a four. that turn pretty good down to six and I don't really mind the setup at all sitting in third I think as long as big slick doesn't do anything too crazy um, I think my expectation can be mostly better than third place Just any pair. I kind of, I kind of want him to go out, not just for the ladder, but because his fucking maniac bullshit. <laughs> Seven-handed. I mean, maybe it's a jam, but I don't know. I mean, it's it it can very well be a jam, but I think it's a little. Nah, I see, but then he's doing this shit like he's just way too involved. You don't have to jam 13 blinds into the ether, man. I mean, it's kind of a good move if you have, like, ace-jack suited plus or pocket nines, but anything, like, really good. Four point one. 
Like you're not, it's not working either. It's working, it's having the same effect as a min bet. All this is doing is letting people know that you don't want to get re-raised. But he doesn't have folds in him, so it's like, this is just a ridiculous fucking thing to do. It's just going to make people jam on you so much wider. Literally just as effective. Ace Jack suited. Pocket eights. It's a good jam. The limp. I don't know if I would have jammed on this one. Wow, limp fold. People don't understand you can actually fold hands, like you can just fold pocket deuces or something. He's got 20 blinds now, is he going to keep jamming? Judy's probably going to jam. These people are so fucking one note. Gee, should I jam? With 20 blinds. If you have a king or a jack, you bet 60 here. But he's probably just going to jam if he has a king. Wow, he might be pure, pure bluffing. Either that or he's got the fucking, you know, full house. Like, I mean, unless you have like a jack, I really don't think you can make a bet that small. <laughs> wow. And you don't jam the river? Like, dude. You bet that small on the turn and then didn't jam on the river. What the fuck is wrong with people? Like, if you check the turn and bet the river, you're going to make more than he did there. You're going to bet the river by three quarters. He only bet it by a third on the turn. You're supposed to be setting up that jam. There's no way this fucker's folding. That's how you play King Queen. Almost the same exact setup, but Judy got all the chips because she understood the assignment. Oh, the fucking chop came off. I didn't even see the fucking chop. It registered you with 12 point, or 54 of 246 reigning in this turn. You accidentally registered almost in the money, sitting at 15th at the moment. Nice. Registered you with 12 and a half blinds. <laughs> I mean, you registered it. Hey, man. Uh, I see people on ACR register at under 10 big blinds all the time. A lot of check raising going on. Bet. Idiot. The big change is two pairs that get there.
All the stacks have shifted just by folding. Jam. I'm like expecting it. Wow, that's, that's kind of almost scarier than the jam. But if you have a decent hand here, like king-queen suited or pocket eight, so you should probably re-jam. Or jam, not re-jam. I mean, it's a pot size bet, so Judy should want to get it all in. I mean, do you fold pocket nines here? If you do, you shouldn't have called pre. Blinds go up. We will defend. Check. There's a lot of draws. Sometimes we get scumped here, but there's nothing else we can do. Aces, really? Come on, hit it. Fuck. Well, there's nothing I can do there. <sighs> Top pair with fucking 14 blinds left. All right, so I got $47 in that tournament for sixth place kind of sucks just a wild uh final table and hey man if you got to get dealt aces to take me out of tournament it's not going to happen often so so far on the day i am ahead about a little over 70 dollars on wsop and 35 ish on acr so about 100